Last week, I quit my absolutely soul-crushing, debilitating, toxic job. <laughs> I'm so burnt out, I can't do it anymore. And I want to quit my job. <laughs> I have worked in retail or customer service since I was 16. So we're going on 10 years. And the past two years have been extremely hard for me to do that job. And I knew I needed to move on. I started to feel like my creativity was dying. My kind of like spark and Honestly, not to sound dramatic, but my joy for life was being crushed by this job. I had no time for my friends, for my family. I didn't have enough time for school. And on top of that, you don't make groundbreaking money. So it's truly a lose-lose in every area. And I have learned about myself that I really don't thrive in these small retail stores where everything is very clicky and there's an undeniable presence of favoritism. And I also don't enjoy the corporate factor where if you call in sick, even if you have a sick note, you're gonna be written up and formally punished. So when I became monetized on YouTube in October, I knew that I had to quit. <laughs> I had to quit and I need to focus on pursuing my own passions. And so last week I had my last day as a sales ambassador, at least for now, so that I can really focus on this channel and grow it to what I always have wanted it to be. Making YouTube videos really has been my dream job for my entire life. I don't think there's been a single period of my life where I haven't thought about doing this full time. And so I've decided to trust myself and do this thing. And I think the biggest thing that really sucks about the job that I have right now is I do not have the time to work on stuff for me, like this channel. I love making videos on here. It is everything to me. It is the most fun I have. I feel so accomplished. I feel like I'm actually chasing like my dream. I love talking to all of you guys. You guys are so nice. I love all the comments I get. I love the editing. I love the filming. I love the planning. I love it so much, but my retail job is sucking the life out of me and I have no creative energy left at the end of the week to focus on what I actually want to do. And I feel like I'm robbing myself of this potential. This is where I'm at in my life. So I did get a second job. I am now a part-time nanny doing only school pickup. So it's only three hours a day, Monday through Friday. And also the pay is m like exponentially better than what I was making in retail. I'm making the same amount of money that I was in retail working half the hours. And now I have my whole mornings free to work on this. So I'm really excited for the new year. We're starting this off in December. I just wanted to kind of give you a little life update. I quit my job. <laughs> I'm trying to become a full-time YouTuber. Yeah, I'm just I'm just so inspired and I'm really thriving. I kind of finding my style and, and trying new things. I think I've put a lot of pressure on myself to post videos without really like loving the creative process. So I'm really excited to kind of rekindle my love for making videos and I want to get better at editing. I want it to be more storytelling, more more transformative, I guess you would say. I'm sure a lot of you can relate that working a job where you don't feel respected, you don't feel valued, you don't get thanked. Uh, it just really wears on your self-esteem, <laughs> on your self-worth. Um, I would take little clips of myself that I'll put in here and you can see like I literally just look dead in the eyes. I just couldn't do it anymore. And I'm just feeling very blessed and privileged to be in a position where I can just quit that job very easily and try something new. I haven't taken this conventional life path of graduating from high school and then graduating from college and then finding a corporate job and then buying a house and then getting married and then, you know, like I haven't done all those things in the perfect right societal order. And so the consequence of that is kind of feeling lost or like feel like you're floundering a little bit. Even though the positive of that is having this great life. I've traveled so many places, I've lived so many places, I've met so many different types of people, I've had these great wonderful experiences. So that's the high and then the low is kind of being like, what is my purpose? What am I doing? Am I ever making the right decision? Will I ever do something profound? And so I'm gonna channel this nervous energy into this is what I'm doing. I wanna make content, I wanna make videos and this is just my public declaration that I'm gonna stick to it and that by next year, hopefully this channel has grown 
tenfold and we have a cute little community. So yeah, I don't know, that's just a little update for me, a quick little cute short video to everybody who's been here for the past six years. Jeez Louise, thank you so much. <laughs> cannot believe you're still here. Uh, to the people who have found me recently, thank you so much. It really, really means a lot. It's um, a lot of work. Like one video can take me 20 to 40 hours to make after the planning and the filming and the editing. So I just really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I hope that you enjoy your job. And if you don't, I hope that you can also kind of rewrite your own fate and find a new path. Um, I really feel for anybody working in retail. It is kind of the worst. It's kind of the worst. So I just hope that if you're working retail, you like it. <laughs> and I hope if you don't like it, you find a better opportunity. I really relate to that quote that's something like, your fear of looking stupid is what's holding you back. And I feel that so hard. I am terrified to go into the wild in New York City and vlog, but that's what's holding me back. And I know that I can grow this channel. Like, I know it. I know that I can create this wonderful community here and I need to stop having imposter syndrome. I am fashionable. I can talk about trends. I can talk about whatever I want to. And if I get it wrong, it's fine, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like not good enough because I'm like, well, I don't know like all the brands and I don't know all the designers and I don't know like, I don't like watch runway videos in my free time, you know? I am just feeling extremely hopeful, extremely inspired. The new year, I love the new year. I know a lot of people find it kind of cheesy, but new year's is like, so good and my new year's resolution for 2023 was to become monetized on youtube and so i'm very excited that i accomplished that and i'm excited to make some new kind of goals for 2024 and hopefully we can hit those feeling very grateful feeling very very blessed so yeah thank you times a million and i will see you in my next one